When it comes to autoimmune disease and other chronic health conditions, taming inflammation can often be the name of the game. This can be difficult because the body creates a vicious cycle where inflammation keeps pe feeding more inflammation, as is often the case with autoimmune diseases, particularly Hashimoto's. This makes halting the progression of autoimmune diseases and chronic health issues difficult, but not impossible. However, we now know about nutritional ingredients that can boost anti-inflammatory effects. These ingredients act on two primary inflammatory immune messengers called nitric oxide and interleukin-17, or IL-17. IL-17 is a pro-inflammatory immune cell that damages body tissue, such as the thyroid gland in Hashimoto's, the joint in RA, or rheumatoid arthritis, or the nerve sheaths in multiple sclerosis. IL-17 isn't completely bad, it is necessary to fight infections. But when the immune system becomes hyperzealous or overactive, interleukin-17, or IL-17, goes out of control and attacks the body it's designed to protect. IL-17 destroys tissue by activating an inducible nitric oxide, one of three forms of nitric oxide, a gas, involved in various processes in the body. Two other forms of nitric oxide are beneficial and actually fight inflammation endothelial nitric oxide for the blood vessels, and neuronal nitric oxide for the nerves. However, inducible nitric oxide is pro-inflammatory and damages body tissue under the orders of IL-17. So, to break it down, one way we can stop the vicious cycle of inflammation is to dampen or bring down IL-17 and inducible nitric oxide. Luckily, there are nutritional compounds that help the body do this. Keep in mind that not all supplements are created equal. You get what you pay for. If you would like access to my online dispensary at discounted prices, almost always better than Amazon, click on the link to sign up and you'll get a free invitation and you can check, out, check it out. So, moving on. Maybe you've heard of arginine to boost nitric oxide. Although arginine boosts the anti-inflammatory endothelial and neuronal nitric oxides, it also boosts inducible nitric oxide, the bad one. So if you're fighting chronic inflammation, taking arginine may work against you, and it may give you a herpes outbreak. Arginine is also touted as being good for boosting growth hormone, but this can have downsides. Check out my previous post on arginine and cold sores. If you get cold sores or herpes, don't take arginine. So instead of taking supplements to boost all of your nitric oxide roots, it's safer instead to take nutritional compounds that studies show support endothelial nitric oxide, one of the anti-inflammatory nitric oxides. These include, if I can pronounce them, adeno adenosine, hyperzine, vinpo <laughs> bin vinpocetine. <laughs> These include adenosine, hyperzine, vinpocetine, alpha-GPC, xanthitol, niacinate, L-acetylcarnitine. Whew! Okay, these compounds work synergistically when taken together in an emulsified liquid form. My favorite way. But it can be hard to find good product with everything you need. And liquid is not always preferable for everyone. Not only does boosting endothelial nitric oxide tame inflammation, it also helps repair and regenerate body tissue, promote blood flow, dissolve plaques, and dilate blood vessels. Start with small doses to gauge effects and tolerance. These compounds also support neuronal nitric oxide, the other inflammatory nitric oxide, and thus the health of your brain and nervous system. Exercise is another excellent way to boost beneficial nitric oxides. In fact, take these endothelial nitric oxide boosting supplements or compounds before getting your heart rate to maximum capacity for a few minutes first thing in the morning. This will optimize anti-inflammatory effects and support brain health. Nitric oxide is helpful for those of us who like to lift weights and get that pumped feeling after or during a workout. Also, nitric oxide is what is sti uh, stimulated with certain medications, such as Viagra and heart medications for angina. Some patients report that taking these supplements before going for a little wrestle in your bed with your partner can make you strong like oak. When exercising to induce nitric oxide, you don't have to exercise long. Just a few minutes of raising your heart rate as high as you can can have a profound effect on anti-inflammatory and brain supporting effects. Just be sure not to overtrain as that produces more inflammation. Also, how you get your heart rate up depends on your fitness level and your abilities, so keep it safe and doable.
Some other great tools to tame inflammation include therapeutic doses of vitamin D, omega-3 fatty acids, absorbable forms of glutathione, and therapeutic doses of emulsified resveratrol and curcumin, or turmeric. These compounds have been shown to dampen the inflammatory vicious cycles associated with autoimmune and chronic disorders. Of course, lifestyle and diet changes are vital too. This includes eliminating pro-inflammatory foods with the autoimmune diet and designing an anti-inflammatory quenching lifestyle, which I can help you with. There are many reasons why some may have elevated inflammatory levels. There's many reasons why someone may have elevated inflammatory levels. While taking supplements can be helpful, it's even more important to get to what the root cause of the inflammation is. Functional medicine looks to get to that root cause. For help taming your chronic inflammation and autoimmune disorders, ask my office for advice. Until next time, I'm Dr. Craig Mortensen. Be healthy, be happy.